In this video, we're going to talk about a colony that I continually miss inspected and misdiagnosed and every time I opened up that hive it surprised me and that's coming right up. Let's go keep some bees. Hey there beekeepers, welcome to Beekeeping from Scratch, where we document our journey starting over from scratch and growing our operation back to profitability together with you. Now before we get started, if we haven't met yet, my name is Scott McPherson and this is another installment of my show, Bee Diaries, where we journal what's happening in our own bee yards. Now, if you enjoy watching Beekeeping from Scratch, please consider liking this video, subscribing, and ringing that little bell icon so that you get notified the next time we upload a new video. Your subscribership and watching these videos all the way to the end really helps this channel out by getting this material in front of other beekeepers and people interested in keeping bees. I'd also like to announce two big milestones for the BFS community here. We just passed 250 subscribers this past week on June 2nd, and even more amazing, we exceeded 7,000 views the next day. The community continues to grow, and you guys make it happen every day. I couldn't have done this without your support, so please give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Sincerely, thank you very, very much. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about a colony that I mistakenly took the queen along with a split. Saw the queen during the footage review later on in that week. Found no queen cells when I checked on her the next weekend. Came back home to find a queen cell, but didn't have any real luck. And I had resigned to combine that colony to minimize the loss of that workforce and resources. Going back the third week to do the combine, I found the queen cells and one had just emerged. That colony was a real roller coaster ride and it surprised me every single time I opened it up. To date, and I plan on talking about this more in our next video, I am 19 for 20 queen right splits. I have one colony right now that is hopelessly queenless, so don't forget to subscribe so you could find out what happens to that colony. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so now I'm taking a recording of the sound of this colony because I want you to hear something. This is the colony, and I, I don't think I mentioned it, but this is a colony that I accidentally took the queen out of. I saw in footage that when I pulled the frame out of here, I said there's no queen on it. I actually saw the queen as I started moving the uh, the frame over to the other hive in the footage that I took. I know that this hive is queenless and I also, so far, I don't see any queen cells. So they've got that queenless drone that you can hear. And I don't see any cells in here. This is the last frame. So these guys truly are hopelessly queenless. So what I need to do is I need to rectify this situation. This colony is not going to get a second box yet. I need to get that queen or a queen and put her back in here. So we're going to undo. We're second guessing this. Not second guessing. We are changing our minds here on or natoring this colony.
see something weird. Oh, no, that's just cappings. They're just, it looked kind of like weird. Let me just show you this here real quick. See, it looked just a bit like wax moth. I don't know if this is in frame here. But right here, I was like, wait a minute. I think I see wax moth webbings, but on just real quick, closer inspection. That's actually capped honey, but it's just deep down, and they capped it down deep. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. All right, well, they're not real strong. They do not need more room. They are not queenless. Just gonna keep feeding them. They've got what they need. They just need to do it. Queen right and weak. Same place. So these are the first splits, right? So you can see they're not in the strongest state. They've been essentially queenless for two weeks, but they've got lots of comb available. The brood that was in there first was emerging. The queen's laying eggs. So they have what they need. They just need to keep getting fed. These guys just need to keep getting fed. Probably could benefit from a frame of bees. We'll check. Just, you know, a shake of bees down into them. Queen right, but weak. Now this is the queen, I mean, sorry, this is the colony that was queen right, but I did not have enough frames to give a full strength. So she, I turned her into a three frame nuke in the center of the colony. I see lots of eggs. Very young bees, bees being laid, or emerging, excuse me. And there's the queen, nice dark queen. I don't know if she'll still be there by the time I get over here. She's right there. Oh, hang on, right here, but let's turn around. She's probably run to the other side. No, she's hiding there in the corner. She's decided to hide. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to be out here either. However, I want to put her back in the box. Get her back where she belongs. Heavy, thick with brood. Leave that out. May have seen enough, but I just want to look at that other last frame, see if they've done anything with that. Yep. Nice thick festoon you can see at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it waving, but see that festoon waving there? Bees, pollen, lots of pollen in here. Doing well. So, small colony, started out small, but kicking it. 
so it's going to stay just put, stay put. Queen right. Still, we oh shit! What do I keep doing that? I gotta stop doing that. Queen right. This one's starting out queenless as well. Uh oh, inner cover got stuck. Festoon, building calm, nothing in it. You know, you might ask, why am I smoking these nukes so much? But these are those nuclear bees. So they seem to be doing all right if I give them plenty of smoke. But once they start calming down from the smoke, for whatever reason, they start flying at my hand. And they get my fingers. Like as I reach over the frames, they get zoop, and they come out with their stingers face you know, front and center. So. Just give my puff of smoke over the top, and they're fine. This comb is heavy, heavy with nectar. Some brood in it, not a lot, but it's very heavy with nectar. These girls appear to still be queenless, and I don't see any sign that they've raised a queen either. And the next frame is still empty. So we have two definite queenless hives. The one at Azugachi, uh, yes, at Azugachi, and one here. Now you wanna hear what that, uh, oh there it is, hang on. Now you can, you can hear this, I want you to hear this. This is my sound recorder. It's the queenless roar. You hear that? The difference between that and a normal hive is a normal hive makes just as much noise, but this is a steady, low pitched hum. Not the tick, 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 and the bzz, bzz, bzz. Just a steady hum. It's like they're calling for the queen to come home. less. That's two hives to rectify, two hives that need to be rectified now. All right, so here we are again at Azogachi. As you might remember from one of the previous videos, you saw me nadir this second hive. However, the first hive that I went to, I actually discovered was queenless. Um, I discovered that she was queenless because of some footage that I found um, in a previous video when I was doing some fractional splitting. I didn't see the queen when I was actually doing the splits, but when I was going through the footage later, I actually saw the queen just as I was pulling the frame away from the camera. I saw her run around the corner. So I know she's not in there. So I had planned on going back to the home yard, which I did, and look for some queen cells from some of the other fractional splits that I made. However, none of those nukes had usable queen cells. They were either already spoken for or they had already hatched. So what I'm gonna do today, because I don't have a queen to put in there, I don't wanna just take a queen out of a good productive hive and stick it in there, is I'm gonna combine the back nuke with this first nuke here. Yes, it's gonna make it three stories. I've already given them uh, an empty nuke over this past weekend. However, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the queenless colony, I'm gonna put it on top of this one. It's probably mostly honey bound anyway. I'm predicting that it's going to be principally honeybound, so my plan is, is to put it on top, but I am going to do a frame-by-frame -frame inspection of both colonies, or at least do a quick peek into both stories and decide what I'm going to do from there.
just looking for any evidence, any evidence whatsoever, that a queen may have emerged and is laying. That's really all I'm doing here. I don't want to combine them if there is a queen. Because I did take the queen over two weeks ago, although it's very slim that she's already made it in laying, if there is one in here. I don't want to take that chance. And if I could find a, a virgin queen running around or a freshly mated one, that's fine too. In fact, that would be ideal. See another queen cup here. It doesn't look like there's anything in it. And there's a fourth queen cup that unfortunately has a piece. Oh no, that's not chalk, that's color from the other side. No. The bees were attending it very carefully, so I thought there might be something in it, but I don't see anything in those cups. Oh, wait a minute. I see an emerged queen cell right here. Aha. Uh -huh. See it right there. Do I, do I have it in focus? Yeah, that right there is a queen cell. It has emerged. So, guess what? I am not going to combine this colony. Thank goodness they were able to raise raise a new queen. Uh, I hope that she's successfully mates. And there's another queen cell there beneath it. She might have emerged fairly recently because there's another queen cell just underneath it, right there, that does not look damaged at all. So I am going to give these bees one more week, or I'll check them in a week and see how they are. I'm not going to go through this colony any further now, though. So. As sometimes happen, plans change. This is what I wanted to happen. I didn't think it was happening. I missed it the last time I was here, but it's happening. So I'm gonna position this as a queen right hive. She's not entirely queen right, so I'm standing the brick up, it's just to give me a little bit more information. It lets me know I think it's queen right, but it's something to check on. Since I have this colony open anyway, I'm going to go ahead <coughs> and open up the back. Let's see if there's anything to see. Lots of bees down below here. If we move that, it's going right into them. They look like they're doing all right. Yep, they're building comb down below, so that's good. Put them back exactly as they were, slowly. Get back inside. Well, I don't think I crushed a bee on that one. I didn't hear a good crunch, so that's good. That, my friends, is the end of that inspection. Let's go ahead and give them back the sugar syrup they had before. Kill the smoker. Alright, that's it for now. If you're interested in filming your own beekeeping videos, check out the links in the description below if you want to find out what equipment I use in my videos. I get a very small commission if you decide to buy it, and it doesn't cost you a single penny more. Alright, remember, stay safe, and don't forget, it's about the bees. <laughs>